Vamos Gila Gila. You are always welcome here. Sparky welcomes you. His new name is Manamarak. It used to be a kiddies program. Back in the day when we didn't have CGI, just puppets. Welcome to the 111 portal. You are always welcome in this space. Now, now that I can see you. It's an important date. A very, very important date indeed. And I found you to feel very welcome. Get your cup of whatever you like to drink and come and join me. I said it before, I say it again. Pluto, the god of the underworld, the god of Hades, the god of death, has shifted into Aquarius, ruled by the god Uranus, the father of the sky. The God and the Father, the beginning, the Omega, not the end. You see, it's unfortunate when we have gatekeepers in the resistance. This international, this new international resistance against something that is instilled and engraved and with firm foundations in every single one of our souls and minds and substance. Why? Because it's in our genes, in our DNA, which was constructed by our fathers and mothers, like Uranus did for Saturn. And Saturn did for Jupiter and Mars. You see, we come from a long, long time ago where there were powers that still continue in us, in you, in me, in every single living person with a soul right here today on this plane. Okay, it's enough rubble breaking now. Just gonna give me rubble breaking. No, 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 no. Unfortunately, on the YouTube streets, there are so many gatekeepers and you do not know who they work for. Because it's something in the soul to resist anything that is unfamiliar, that is strange. There was this footage of the alien in the mall or outside the mall in Miami. There was one in San Francisco. It looks BS. But 
I have, you know. You know, you've seen these buildings across on the YouTube and Instagram where they have these holograms. These holograms project outside the four corners of the screen as if my hand could come out and touch you right now. I researched our phone cameras cannot pick up a hologram. Cannot. So if they were holograms, these eyewitnesses were so scared they couldn't remember to pick up their, take their phones out to record. They just started running or they froze. Flight or fright, fright or flight, fly away, fly, fly away, run, forest, run. How you feel now, please? Then an orb in a train station just starts appearing from nowhere. Everybody starts running. This orb just starts growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. And growing. It's picked up by the camera, the security camera, which is worse. We know security cameras are the worst, especially the ones in the banks. They'll never pick your face up or the criminals face up holograms they do glyph what do you call it glitch holograms glitch humans don't glitch i've experienced holograms in daylight That's what I thought they were. Another criminal ex-friend of mine told me, no, it must have been shrooms where you hallucinated. It was a game that went wrong. Why? Because humans are unpredictable and we do not bow down until we forced to bow down and then we bow down or die be useful or be insignificant and they squash you like a bird don't matter who you are Beyonce or the Duchess of Sussex squash you out prince formerly known as symbol oprah they got no clout for the true power that rule us and play us like marionettes on strings We give them our power. We agree. Down another guzzling beer. Yeah. That's the only way, mate, because you've been to jail. Yeah, yeah, you've been to jail. That makes you stronger. Yeah, that makes you smart. No, it doesn't make you smart. It makes you street smart and jail smart. And then at the end of the day, if you and I meet in jail, mister, I got the top back. <laughs> mm. 
these are the days we chose to live in. But we just sit by and watch. And then we disagree. And we complain. Because they gave us all these gadgets. We became the consumers. And we consume, if we think we are consuming this great. Illusion right in front of your eyes. But these do not exist. Then why are the games played? Why are the psyops done? Why does Cat Williams bring in the Illuminati? These are the days where we should always remember. But will we? We forgot what happened yesterday. We keep on talking about the past, the history, how this happened, how that happened, but it is all lies. The winner tra writes the history, and the winner is not the good, not the brotherhood of the good, but the brotherhood of the bad. And that's what the Emerald Tablets tell us you of two brotherhoods of dark and of light and if you choose the dark your beehive mentality comes out I'm not talking about the hairdo but you're all the Just keep it in the lane. Keep it in your lane, Jane. Wonder. I don't know why it's just so fashionable now. These days to... to Gaslight with the young by the channel with with rent and rose. It's a ten hour long. It's a ten hour long live. So I have to go and search that that live with Rose that I was on to watch what happened afterwards is, uh, but that's what what's Team Rose is all about. Then all you do is you get you get people to roast. You roast them alive. And pull them out from inside out. And that's fine. I mean, I am just like Richard Hart. I get turned on mightily when Rose is ranting and rambling. But when Rose leaves the live, I literally have to. I mean, okay, these roses, which came from Richard, I noticed that, 
And I've got bouquets everywhere. I've got this bouquet, which is looking great. These ones are really low. When that voice leaves, it goes dead, dead quiet. So you start speaking because uh, who wants dead air on a live? That means the live is dead. Why don't you crack, crack open a fucking beer? Instead of gaslighting the guests, the special guests on Team Rose's show. Just because you disagree, oh yes, then it does not exist. Just because you are, uh, it's like it's like a pissing contest between men on the Team Rose channel. And so, I don't have the accent, and I don't, I don't have the clout that the rest of y'all have. But do me a favor, if you are co-hosting a panel, get some life. I know you do it every day and you troll every Steffers and every Turtle Island show. And I don't know where you all get the time to be mods to do that. You see, at the end of the day, a mod is a pimp on the YouTube streets. Um, or ornaments, maybe, but not the lights. And then I put the lights on, I think. And this is my pimp. She my pimp. This Rose drama. She my pimp. She my pimp, pimp, pimp. I really. This is my pimp. This my pimp. This my pimp, 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 mm, pimp, pimp. Delicious. Mm. Mm, mm, delicious. She my pimp. Oh, delicious. So I pin. was just thinking. It but you guys can't do this. Not even three dot Dave. Oh, we can send you through a meditation ceremony. For what? For the hive mentality. Snap out of it. Join the resistance. Push through the portal today, Team Rose. I dare you. I thank you very much for watching the show. Please hit the thumbs up if you joined and subscribed. I thank you very much. Hit the little bell for more notifications from this weirdo. Join the resistance on the 1st of the 11th. They're going to be, never be the same ever again. Ciao for now. Salani gakhe. Hambani gakhe. Shalom. Salam alek. Akasli fio. Ich liebe dich. Potenz. Tschüss. Mm.